Pokemon just dropped their latest trailer for the Indigo Disc DLC, but they put a ton of information on their website and there was a bunch of things you probably missed. So we're gonna break them down in this video. Strap in, let's get it. All right, first things first, you guys know they had those new mystery gifts. You've got the Lucario Shiny event details. You can use code Shiny Buddy with a one instead of an I on the Shiny. It's got inner focus, comes in a Cherish Ball. It's got Flash Cannon, Aura Sphere, Bullet Punch, and Ice Punch. They put out some nice little art with the protagonist and Lucario. So you can add that to your team as you get ready for the new DLC. And now until December 21st, there's a new moon and they're going to be able to get Darkrai. You can actually get dark ride through new moon is coming again replace the eyes with ones and i think the o's might be replaced with zeros but i'll have the password on screen and that's going to go until december 21st so you don't want to miss out on that dark ride and the shiny lucario if you're into that kind of stuff there's some new mass outbreak events going on flabebe and paldea litwick and kitakami and then milkery is going to be in the blueberry academy so those are going to run uh basically until the 21st from the day of the dlc dropping for the milkery so if you want to grab some of those shinies that'll be the opportunity to do so there dialga palkia are in terror raids as of the 7th so you can grab those as well take them on in five star terror raids those are going until the 21st as well now we know that there's going to be a new feature synchronized with your pokemon and explore your surroundings so in the dlc you can use a device called the synchro machine to see the world through the eyes of your Pokemon, kind of mystery dungeon-esque. So you can move around, have them buy the wild Pokemon, and you can play the game in a fresh and new way. You can use the Synchro Machine when playing in the Union Circle and get to experience this feature with your friends. We saw that there was a big focus on new legendaries that you can hunt for, and it's important to note that you have to meet certain conditions to unlock various encounters. So basically you can encounter these different legendaries like Kyogre and all sorts of stuff, but you gotta talk to Snacksworth at the Blueberry Academy. When you've met these different conditions, he'll give you snacks that you can encounter specific legendary Pokemon back in the Paldea region, and he'll give you his extensive knowledge of these Pokemon to help you kind of find them and ultimately get them. So this was something that was heavily leaked and hinted by the leakers and you know, they kind of posted pictures of a bunch of like chip bags and snacks and stuff like that. And it all comes together now that we got to meet snacks worth and ultimately track down these various legendaries. Some of the key takeaways from this is this is most likely going to be a new shiny hunting opportunity for us to get shinies of Glacier, Spectriere, Kubfu, some of these various Pokemon that we otherwise haven't been able to shiny hunt. So this will be a new opportunity to get those shiny legendaries that we maybe didn't get in the past or couldn't get in the past. So hopefully we'll get some really cool opportunities to shiny hunt these legends. A lot of the way to get these quests and to be able to hunt these legendaries is going to come down to the BBQs or the Blueberry Academy uh, extra quests. They have the Blueberry Quest, they call them. So they are different quests assigned by the school to the students that you get BP or Blueberry points, which you could use at the Academy to get various things. So you can add features to your club room or invite other trainers to the Academy and you can take on group quests with your friends and do all sorts of stuff. So the idea behind it is you do these quests, you get the points, and then you can kind of invite people and do different things with those different points. And that obviously leads to kind of this idea that a lot of these gym leaders and a lot of these characters that were in the main part of Paldea are going to be coming back. We saw that you can trade with gym leaders so you can get things like Iono's Magnemite, which I thought was pretty cool. This is one of my favorite takeaways from the trailer today is that this opportunity that you can trade with Iono, other trainers, and maybe get some really cool Pokemon. And I hope this is something that they kind of look at in the future. I think it'd be really cool to get like you know, Blaine's Charizard, like the OG Pokemon cards, right? Or like Sabrina's Gengar or whatever. Like, I think that that would be a fun way to kind of enhance upon the idea of titles, which they've used in the past, like, you know, Crobat the Cloudy or whatever, being able to get these different gym leaders Pokemon. I think that'd be really sweet. And I think they could even take it a step further. I saw some conversations on social media about getting content creators involved, like, you know, Wolf Glick or uh, say John Park's Pachirisu or something, right? Like, that's a really good example. Or like, you know, Wolf Glick's Gothitelle. I remember he was running, uh, you know, in a previous VGC event. So a lot of opportunities there. I think it's cool, cool starting point. I'm excited to see which different Pokemon you can get. Probably at least one from each gym leader, I would imagine. Um, but it'll be excited to see what they end up bringing to the table with that. We knew that there was going to be new throwing styles. They're adding in six different throwing styles, left-handed, reverend, dainty, smug, elegant, and twirling. So you can donate the BP to the baseball club. It looks like you could change how you throw your Pokeballs. There's different throwing styles, so you can ultimately change this. This was a feature back in Sun and Moon in the Alola region, if I remember correctly, and they kind of ditched it in some of the recent games, but it's cool that they're bringing it back, so shout out to that. Probably the biggest and most groundbreaking aspect of this trailer was Kieran's new look. If you missed it, I missed it on my first watch, but Kieran has a completely different vibe now. They changed his entire appearance, 
and I think that there's some really important features to this. So the idea behind this is we know that the loyal three, Okie Doki, Monkey Dory, Fezzendipity, we believe that they were controlled in some way by this new legendary or mythical Pokemon, Doku Taru, this peachy Pokemon, peachy keen, whatever it's gonna be called, this poison type peach Pokemon apparently has kind of taken over uh, these various uh, Pokemon, the loyal three, and ultimately corrupted them in a way where they wanted to do its bidding essentially, right? So the idea in this DLC is that there's gonna be some side quests related to Kirin and some more story related to Kirin, and it seems as though he may ultimately have been taken over by this Pokemon. And that's kind of what the th thought in theory is right now. It's very clear that he has a new appearance. He's definitely a different trainer altogether now. Same guy, but it's very possible that he has the new Toxic Chain Pokemon. Or maybe he's even been infiltrated by the Toxic Chain Pokemon. Moxie had a pretty good post about this on social media as well. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of thoughts that maybe his hair braid kind of turns into this. And then there's a shot that you kind of get from the back that Poke Tsutami had pointed out. That indicates that maybe this Doku Taru, Peachy Keen type Pokemon actually infiltrated Kirin altogether and it's actually attached to him at this point. Much like uh, Lusamine and, and Nihiligo back in the day, uh, or Lily back in the Sun and Moon days. So it seems like we might be exploring a similar theme here with Kirin and his Pokemon. And this is probably the thing that I'm most excited to see is being able to kind of adventure through the Blueberry Academy and kind of find out what's going on with Kirin. As much as I didn't care for his story in the Teal Mask, I feel like the fact that they're expanding on it and it seems he's taken on a whole new life, I gotta give him props on that character development. I'm excited to see what they brew with this. And obviously, you know, we're kind of thinking, what is his Diplin gonna evolve into? That's the real big question here. Are we gonna get, you know, this, this new Bug Dragon, Hydraplin evolution that people are speculating? What is this gonna be? That is something I'm personally very excited for. We know that there's going to be some end of story event with your legendary. You probably gain access to the 19th type this way. It's been a lot of speculation on this 19th type, which is going to be terror related. And it seems as though there's going to be something going on with your Koriadin and Moriadin. They have red eyes. They look very enraged. There's something going on with them. Blazing Cinnamore made a, a pretty good post about this. And I think that there's a lot of speculation about these legendaries, but there's going to be something going on with these, whether you're going to be able to... Uh, you know, get a new form on them or something. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. I do find it funny that the official reveal for Blood Moon Ursa Luna also came today. So they went this whole time without officially revealing it, but they did drop its sprite and they did confirm that Blood Moon Ursa Luna is indeed on its way or it's already on its way uh, in the in the first part of the DLC. So we're sitting at about a week from the, uh, the release of Indigo Disc and they didn't give us uh, a ton to work with here. They showed off some new features, but not really any new Pokemon, right? I think for me, I was hoping to get an Entei form, a Terrakion form, or figure out what the 19 type is, or something related to that. But unfortunately, that was not in the cards for us today. But they did give us a lot of information when you kind of peel back the uh, the peach, or in this case, the onion, or vice versa. You know, we got a little bit of stuff here to give us some, you know, some information to hold us over. But for the final trailer, let me know you, what you guys thought of this one. I would have liked to see a little bit more... But again, with it just being a week away, it's not like we have to wait a super long time to be able to ultimately play this and experience it for ourselves. So I appreciate all your thoughts. I appreciate everyone hanging out with me on my live stream, my live reaction. If you want to check that out, I'll have it in the description below. Let me know if you think we missed anything additionally in the comments. I know a lot of people are speculating and trying to piece things together and dig through these trailers. This one seemed a little simple. There wasn't too much going on, so I don't think we missed too much. But I wanted to cover a lot of the stuff that was on the website because they, they had a lot of stuff there. And we broke it all down in this video. So hopefully it was helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.